All right, hey guys, it is Ren. I'm back. I'm back. I'm young. Welcome. <laughs> oh, it's been. I've missed you guys. Um, I miss Korea. But tonight, I saw a Korean film called The Face Reader, and it was fabulous. It was fabulous. That's the only way I could say it because it was just that good. And I am going to recommend it to all of you. I um, actually read that in its first, sorry for the shaking of the screen, I hope I can fix that. Um, but I read that in its first uh, two weeks that it had raised $46 million. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go see you anyway. But just knowing that you made that much money like it's so good it's exciting i'm very happy for them okay so these characters um okay this film is a historical film based in the chosun dynasty um which i just learned about this past summer um when i took my pre-modern korean history class that almost killed me um but yes it it oh historical film beautiful i love them <laughs> I love them, mostly for costuming, but I love them. Um, this this film was um, very well done. I'm trying to pull up the character list. Sorry. Here we go. The character list. Yay! You can see it too on Han Cinema. Han Cinema. Don't don't notice my broken screen. Oh, I just zoomed it out, so you'll notice that. But yeah, these characters. I I I fell in love with all of them. Um, the character development um, was good. It was really good. It was it was really good. This was a real well bleh, well written and um, very well directed. I I'm really happy with. Let me see. Um, screenplay by Kim Dong Hyuk and directed by Han Chae Min. Awesome. Um, Han Chae-dum did a wonderful job directing this. Um, this cast is, I think, perfect. Was perfect for it. You know, sometimes you watch a film and you're just like, why did they choose them for that role? Um, but these people are really amazing. Um, I don't know very many Korean actors, but I, I mean, I'm starting to know more names, but I don't even know American actors. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad with names theater major who can't remember actors' names. Horrible. Um, but yeah, this, um, ha, Kim Hiso, bleh, I don't think that's how you say her name. Kim Hiss, Hiss, <laughs> um, yeah. Kim Hiss, she is amazing. She's beautiful. She does this cute nose crinkle thing. I loved her. I loved her. Um, she, I, you know, I wouldn't say they're all main characters. <laughs> they, I mean, they are, but you know, you know, the main characters, and then the, the semi-main characters. But yeah, these these are all main characters. Um, Lee Chong Sook plays um, Chin Chiang, and um, his character is great. Um, there were a couple of things I did not like about his character. Um, they did a little change um, in it that I really did not like. I was kind of saddened by it because I think he looked better a certain way. <sighs> but whatever, that was director's choice. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever, it worked. <laughs> whatever. But yeah, um, if you see the movie, you'll, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. If you're a girl, you'll notice. If you're a guy, you'll probably only notice because I said this. But yeah, and then his, um, his stage makeup, his stage makeup were, 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 sorry, I just saw a cacao message, sorry. His stage, his stage makeup at one scene was just like, really? Did you really do that? Because it could have been done better. Just saying. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not in any way a conceited person. I, I really am not. But um, when you know that a job can be done better than what it was done, you're just like, oh, really? Really, guys, did you rush that scene? Um, yeah, but yeah, that was, that was the only thing I had about his character that I didn't particularly like. Well, I should say those things because there was two. Um, and then we have Jo Chong Sook. Cho Chong Sook 
Um, I loved this guy. I'm going to tell you, he and um, the character, um, Song Kang Ho's character, amazing, amazing, amazing. Please go to Han Cinema and look at these people so you can know what the heck I'm talking about and how they look in their pictures. And so you can be like, oh, this is the character she liked? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. I, I just, their, their character bond. Um, the relationship was amazing. It was so perfect, so perfect. I mean, it really seemed like they have known each other forever. Um, it was it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, you know, it's so hard for actors um, to really play off of each other um, if they don't have that certain bond. So, you know, when casting, you have to find someone that really – gets it <laughs> gets it that's the only way to say it. that really gets it but these two i mean i swear they must be best friends because the way they played off of each other oh, it's just perfect i loved it the comical elements throughout um with all the characters um all the characters that had um comical scenes it was they did a great job i was really impressed with the uh comic elements um and then um Peckin's chick's character, um, he he was really good. I liked him. Um, you know, and I, I think all of these people are really attractive. Um, you know, I don't care if they play old characters or not. I thought they were really attractive as their characters. Um <laughs> like I think he plays like a seventy year old man. I mean, I think I don't know how old this guy is. He looks like maybe he's like forty eight or fifty. Um, but um yeah, I mean, he good-looking guy, good-looking old guy, and uh, great job on his um, facial hair, by the way, since I see in his picture he doesn't have any. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, actually, great job on all the um, stage makeup, other than that one incident. Um, I wonder if you guys use crepe hair, crepe hair for the beards. I, I'm assuming you did, because it did look like crepe hair for um, Fung Kong Ho's character. I mean, I know, oh, uh, well, I guess crepe hair would be the only way you would want. Okay, never mind, sorry, I'm getting into <laughs> theatrical makeup stuff. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm honestly um, really into my major for some reason. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now the last character to talk about is um, Yi chong Tae, and I've recorded this like three times, trying to shorten it, um, but it has obviously not worked. Uh, but anyways, uh, Yi Chong Che's character, I really, of course, what am I going to say, loved this character. Uh, I'm sorry for this video keep moving. I'm trying to make sure I get enough light. And it's not working too well, but whatever. Um, his character is amazing. Um, as I said, I loved it. He he was perfect for this role. I I don't know how they got such a perfect cast to play these parts. I really don't. I don't. You know, as I said, I don't know very many um, Korean actors or anything. But I I'm impressed. I'm really impressed by how great a cast they got for this. <laughs> um, I have to say thank you. To the cast of this movie, the face reader, um, Guan Sang, and um, Song Sang Sang Sang. Okay, Sang. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, yeah, so I have to say thank you to um, the cast and the crew on this film because you guys really put this thing together and made it happen and made it brilliant. Um, the scenes were fabulous. Special effects. There was one scene, a person falls down, I'm not saying who. And um wow, I, I mean I was who blown away. I was blown away by the special effects because I I got that nauseous, like vertigo feeling, and I was just like, oh, special effect is awesome. <laughs> so that was like one of my favorite and not so favorite parts. Um, but yeah, it was it was great, and it was, oh, this film was beautiful, and um, 
funny and gut wrenching and you know heart wrenching and it was it was everything I want in films. It is what you should expect in films. You should expect the beauty of the work to come out and um, you know to make you want to go see it again and to make you remember it. Um, you know that's I think that's always the hope is that people will remember um, you and that film. You know, they'll remember at least the film itself. They don't remember you. They'll remember the film and say, wow, that was such a great film. The cast was so great. Um, at least as a um, theater major, you know, that's what we hope. We hope that people would remember, hey, you know, weren't you in that, you know, production of such and such? Oh, man, I loved it. You know, that's what we love to hear because we love our craft and we do what we do for um, people like you. <laughs> Well, people like me, I should say, because I go to and I actually, honestly, I, let me stand up. Oh, I really don't, oh, sorry, Sailor Moon is behind me. <laughs> I really don't um, do very much in my theater department, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm in a directing class right now, and so it's uh, changing my view on the world a little bit more. Yay, for changing. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed my strange review on this wonderful movie and I really do hope that everyone goes and sees it. Um, I have missed you guys and uh, yeah I will update my blog on uh, what else is going on um, Korea wise. Um, I have some things to tell you. Exciting. Alright. Bye for now. Annyeong. See